Now on with the first surprise. And this one is going to take military precision. Sa! To make this happen, Sa! I was going to have to join the army! Sa! Well, join the army for a drink. <laughs> I'm here in central London where the Royal Green Jackets Regiment are having their annual Veterans Day celebration. But for one swing singing ex soldier, Gary Driscoll, all the attention is going to be on him. Hey, Gary was in the Royal Green Jackets for 17 years, serving in countries all over the world. As well as his full time job, he devotes all his spare time to the Royal Green Jackets Association. This organization helps ex soldiers adjust to life in the outside world. And with the war in Afghanistan, it's now more important than ever. His wife Maria knows just how vital it is. Soldiers sometimes go through horrific experiences. Gary's been part of that, and he's come out the other side knowing what people need. The association becomes their new family. As secretary of the London branch for the last 12 years, Gary tirelessly organizes social events and fundraisers, but it's his personal touch that members value most. It's a huge dedication, and it takes over his life. So this is where I come in. This is the Central London Club where Gary has organized their annual Veterans Day lunch. And I'm about to arrive with my manager, Gavin. We're going to pretend we're having an important business meeting. Blah, 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 blah. And this is Colonel Smythe, Gary's former commander, who, like everyone else here, is in on the act. It's very 007. Maria's watching events unfold, waiting to spring the trap. The colonel suggests Gary ask me to give a pre-dinner speech. No biggie. After all, I am an actor and everyone loves a showbiz anecdote. If you go across and see him and ask him, you know, would he like to say a few words before dinner? Before dinner, yeah. Downstairs. I reckon that so he might sign. Grace. Go on, Gary, ask me. It'll be a total surprise. You're right. Oh, sorry, I'm, sorry to interrupt. I'm the secretary here. Yeah, What's your name? You Gary. Gary. Gary yeah. Hi. It's Veterans Weekend. Yeah. Every year annually, we, we come here and we have this lunch, and it's great. We mark the weekend for veterans. Are you sure it's not just an excuse to have a drink? Yeah. A bit of both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, if, you, if you'd like to, to would you to like say to, something? Yeah. Would you? Would you? I'm okay with yeah. that. Is that all right? No, no, thank you very much. There you go. I'll, I'll look up some stuff and take some notes. He fell for it hook, line, and sinker, and he suckered in. Gary's other passion involves dinner jackets, not green jackets. He loves to sing swing, and Maria is his biggest fan. Gary's dream would be to sing with a big band, and he's always said that I would love to do that. That is my dream, to perform. So, lunch is ready, but first it's time for a surprise starter, and Gary doesn't have a clue what's on the menu. Remember, Gary thinks my dinner speech is his idea, so if you like, he set himself up. Love it. Okay, John. Thank you very much. It's extremely admirable that the, the Royal Green Jackets have served in all of the major trouble spots in the world, and I didn't know this, but you guys have been awarded the most Victoria Crosses. So you're all shaking your heads, you do know. I thought I was being really snazzy, giving you some information. Most Victoria Crosses than any other regiment in history, which I think is fantastic. But that's not all that I know about the Royal Green Jackets. I know that someone in particular served in the Royal Green Jacket Regiment for 17 years. I also know he's raised thousands of pounds for charities, like Help for Heroes. This person knows how to keep morale up by entertaining his fellow riflemen. I think it was he sang some Frank Sinatra. I also know that he got up and sang in the center of Wimbledon in 1992. You finally clocked it. Gary, come on up here for a second, please. <laughs> Gary. So. They're all in on this. They all knew that I was sitting in there. <laughs> First of all, I'm John Barrowman from BBC One's Tonight's the Night, and I'm going to make one of your biggest dreams come true. No. Yes. <laughs> I know you have a, a, a dream and a lifelong ambition, and that is to sing with a very big orchestra. Oh, yeah. Yes? Always. I'm going to take you to the Tonight's the Night studio, and you're gonna perform with my big Tonight's the Night band on telly. Okay? That's the ultimate thing that anybody could have done for me. You know, that's my, my, my wish. I keep thinking I'm gonna wake up and it's, it was all a dream and I'm gonna be gutted. 
I'm here because someone told me all about you. It's your wife, Maria. Maria, come on out. <laughs> really, all that's left to say is, uh, fall in ten hut, strike up the band. Well, the TTN swing band is struck. You dodo birds, it means tonight's the night. It's you. <laughs> Can't take them anywhere. Maria, has um, Gary's military discipline helped him get through this with his nerves? Uh, definitely, John. He's, um, he's followed the army rules, the six Ps. Proper preparation and planning prevents poor performance. So I'm sure he's going to be fine. There is another P in there, but I missed it out. Yeah, leave that one out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a family show. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, he served his country. Now he's going to entertain it. Singing the way you look tonight with the TTN swing band. Gary Driscoll, tonight's the night. Someday, when I'm awfully low, when the world is cold, I will feel a glow just thinking of you. And the way you look tonight, yes, your love. smile so warm and your cheeks are soft there is nothing for me but to love you and the way you look tonight with each word you're Tearing my fear apart And that laugh that wrinkles your nose Touches my foolish That was, that was just wonderful. And I you look it. spectacular. Thank you, John. I should call you the boss. <laughs> How was it? Excellent. What a, what a, what a night. What a band. What a, what a wonderful band. Yeah, they're brilliant, aren't they? Matt, yeah. what did you think of Gary's performance tonight? Wow, Gary, what a talent. That's such a difficult song to sing. And you really nailed it tonight, mate. Fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Gary Driscoll! Well, that is the first dream come true, but...